Hello everyone, it's Mubonic Zombie. Welcome back to House of a Thousand Doors Family Secrets. So, we opened up one of the doors here, and we got an, uh, the seed, actually. It was the egg we got um, from the winter village, and now we have seed. So, we have a bunch of items, don't know where we're going to use them, but where to next? Let's look at our map. And we are going to the second floor. Ah, okay. Here's the bell hanging from the reef. We have a weight. Okay. Still need a heart thing for that door. Okay, so glad we have the map that tells us where we need to do things. Okay, so there's something we can do here on the second floor. Oh, the bird! There you go, little bird. Whoa. <laughs> and, oh, we did get the hard thing. Thank you, birdie! Okay, looks like that's it from the bird. I like how the animation continues on the window. Speaking of which, I didn't mention this in previous episodes, but um, the animation in this is done very well. Okay, heart with the music note. What is in this door? Oh! Oh, she has a kitty! And her dress is really awesome. But there's a creepy doll on piano. See, little things like that, like she's petting her cat. That's a nice detail. Okay, let's talk to her. Hello, Kate. I'm so pleased to meet you. I've heard a lot about your exploits in the House of a Thousand Doors. I hope you will help me, too. The workshop here, where I restore paintings, is behind this door. I was removing a layer of paint from an old canvas when flames burst out of the painting and consumed my workshop. Now I can't go in there. Maybe you could help me to find out what happened. In the meantime, I'll go find my bird. Well, you're pretty sure your bird is on the doorstep and that boarded up door? Okay, so let's go into the mouth of flames and fury. Uh, while Amanda here goes look for looking for her bird. Amanda must be the daughter of Samen and Chloe. She told me about a terrifying fire that burst out of a painting. Before I came to the house, I would not have thought that was possible. But now... So Chloe was... Was that the psychic? Yes. Okay. So there's Samen, who's the guy who's in uh, the library reading my character's book. And... Um, he was seen in here, so expect this is him. He's a guy that went mad. Uh, and Chloe is his wife, who's a medium. This is their son, Sammy, and uh, Amanda is their daughter. Okay, lovely family. Uh, they seem perfectly normal despite the circumstances. So, don't know how all of them remain calm, but okay, I guess this is their normal. Missing several keys, okay. Not gonna address the doll just sitting there? Okay. Ah, but there's a key. Cross-shaped key. Bird's head. The Monad Protector Chronicles. The prophet, a prophetess who was able to see the past and the future served in the court of Emperor Constantine XI. She was a righteous woman and the emperor sought her counsel. In fact, he would not make a single important decision without her. Constantine eventually grew displeased with her advice and in May 1453 he imprisoned her. Several weeks later, Sultan 
Mahed II attacked the great city and defeated the emperor. In the chaos of the battle, the prophetess disappeared. No one knows if angels took her to heaven or demons dragged her to hell. That looks like Chloe. The history of the Byzantine Empire. Amanda is an am amazing girl. She restores paintings, plays music, and reads about history. But the portrait of the girl in the book reminds me of Chloe. Are they relatives or is it just a coincidence? All things considered, they're probably the same people. So we'll just make something work. Something terrifying must have happened in the workshop as someone boarded up the door. Okay, so we don't have anything to break down the door. So, where can we go? Okay, go back to the cellar or we go to the living room? Ah! Where he is. That's not the key we need. Hmm. Put out the f we don't have anything to put out the flames. I already did this one. Oh, the weight. No. Okay. So it says to weigh something. Okay, is that all we needed to do here? Yes, okay. Cellar. Where we can use the cross shaped key. And, okay, that's another portrait. And that's a crowbar. Can you click on the letters? Okay. Let's go back to the portrait room. Okay. We are definitely putting this family back together. And going to the girls' room to pry open that door. Oh boy. Hmm. Okay. What horrors awaits us? Oh. Definitely look like a fire was here. There's a pristine painting right there. Painting. The room was reduced to ashes, but the painting survived untouched. How could such a beautiful portrait be the source of the fire? Is it covering another painting? This brings an interesting thing to mind if you guys have ever heard of the Crying Boy paintings. Uh, long story short, there was an orphan who... Um, tragically lost his parents in a fire and okay some interesting ambient noise who tragically lost his uh parents in a fire and so but everywhere this orphan went and, or, and was housed the house would somehow catch on fire so there was an artist that decided and the child was called diablo as a result um so an artist decided to paint a portrait of this child and from not only the portraits but later on uh, a series of prints were made of this painting, the crying boy painting, and whatever, wherever this painting or the prints were housed, that residence or building would somehow catch on fire but the paintings would always be intact. So. Just a little bit of real-world info. Okay, and that is the ground that gave way. That's a creepy painting. What a pretty girl. I can hardly believe this painting is cursed and was the source of the fire. I can believe it. Okay. 
so it looks like we need to do stuff. Okay. Recipe for paint. Oh, we're making tempura paint. This is the kind of paint you make using an egg. Egg. Yellow stones. Need 200 grams. You better weigh them. Okay, we need to weigh those. Canvas Nisa. Don't currently have anything to draw with. Oh, we have an eye for that gargoyle. Amanda, I believe in your artistic abilities. Perform a miracle by giving this girl a smile. I have a feeling that might be from Gabriel. Same wall. Okay. Something else along here. Okay. Else we can look at. Okay. So. Oh. There's Beyond Object. Still stuff we can do there. Let's go to the living room to weigh the stones. Weigh 200 grams of yellow stones to place a stone on a, on a scale. Click and drag it onto the right plate. There we go. Okay. And also a fun fact, you um, used to make paint by crushing up precious stones, or just colored stones in general. Okay. Oh yeah, main hall. You give the gargoyle his eye. And there's a hidden object scene there. Oh, there's another portrait. Okay. It's good we found that. Let's do this. Okay. And we have a paintbrush. Okay. So, pretty sure all that's left is the... Oh, portrait dirt. have another key that looks really cool and roll key okay back to the scorched room okay so as you see on the map this is another distant world even though it's attached to the girls' room. Okay, so... I do have the stones. Crush something. I don't think we have anything we can use to crush. We have the instructions. Okay. Do you have pestle? Okay. Oh. Use this. Here we go. Okay. There we go. And now we have yellow paint. Paintbrush. Paintbrush with paint. Okay. So we are 
painting a door. Oh. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to look at the journal. Surprise door. The house has surprised me again. When I painted the image of a door on the wallpaper, it turned into a real door. Where will it take me? I'm dying to know. I'm not as eager as you are. Let's see. Okay, guess this is the key for it. That's a big key. Oh boy. Well, here we go. Huh. Okay. Kind of wrecked, but nothing too bad. Let's go to the scene. There's a spoon. Okay, what did we get? A ladder. Okay. Hang a painting. Whoops. Okay, there's a portrait in there and a key. Okay, I hope that wasn't expensive. Okay, so. Oh! Gondola. We're in Venice? Yes, we are! Venice! I went to Venice! I've always dreamed of going there. Unfortunately, it wasn't under the best circumstances. Now I must find out everything about the painting that caused the fire. Okay. Get up there by a ladder. That's another fire. You're violating the terms of our agreement. You have two days to provide me with the painting. If you don't finish it in time, not only will I not pay you, but I'll also turn this into a matter over to my lawyers. You have a piano key. Those commentary here looks like the artist who lived here got by on scraps of food. He must have been poor. Leave it. Ooh, nice statues. Figurines. Okay. Look for something that tells me. Okay. It's another piano key. Okay. Let's see, June 22nd. I spent all day in the gallery and didn't sell a thing. I didn't have any serious customers, just browsers and students with no money in their pockets. A few more days of this, and we'll have to fight the pigeons on San Marco Square for breadcrumbs. June 23rd. I'm sorry if I said July 22nd instead of June 22nd. June 23rd. My dear daughter asked me to paint a bowl of fruit for her. Juliet is my only joy in life, but she doesn't understand that people don't buy paintings like that. I can't say no to my child though. June 24th. My hands are still shaking. A masked stranger in a black suit came to my gallery today. The Signor ordered a painting of a girl crying and gave me the canvas he wants me to use. Why would he want such a heartbreaking portrait? Who would enjoy looking at a weeping child? I guess that's not my concern. I'm just glad we'll have money for food and rent. June 30th. Am I going mad? Juliet refuses to frown for the painting. 
and when I painted a cheerful face on the canvas, the paint disappeared. My daughter is too happy a child to ever cry. I guess I'll have to paint the frown on my own. Okay. Okay, so we copied the artist's journal. Guessing the child in the photo is his daughter. But I'm wondering why the fire? Okay, but we have a hidden object scene here. <laughs> okay, arrow. I was thinking of an arrow like a bow and arrow. <laughs> So we have a painting. Okay. Go back here and put that up. Is this fine? The differences that are the same. Okay. Ugh. That's gonna be tricky. Oh, I like cool. They have the opposite arrow. Okay. See, this is easy to like start off with, but not when it gets down to like the nitty gritty. Okay, there we go. Whoa, what is that? Firestone. Looks like the sun. Okay, nothing new in our journal. Where to next? Quite a few places. Let's go back to the family tree. Since we have a new portrait. Okay, do we have any other portrait? No. Okay, so we will end here for now. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye!